We are now self-quarantined and no longer traveling, and we encourage anyone watching this to do the same. Also, today's episode is sponsored by Surfshark, but more on that later. This is way crazier than I thought it was gonna be. We showed up, they haven't even opened the airport yet. There are hundreds of people standing outside. A lot of people here don't even have tickets. They've just showed up at the airport hoping that they're gonna be able to get one. People slept here last night. Our flight leaves in an hour and... We're Karen and Nate. Moment of my entire life. We've been traveling the world full time for the last four years, and we've spent the last week island hopping through the Philippines. Yesterday, we traveled two hours to a hidden gym, a remote private island that we rented for less than $200. <laughs> unfortunately, last night we received the news that the capital city of Manila was about to go on lockdown. Things are getting really interesting really quickly with the coronavirus. We've just learned that now we pretty much have two days to get out of Corona or risk being stuck here for a month. Right now, international tourists aren't being restricted from leaving the international hubs, but we could be restricted from getting to them. All flights, buses, boats, everything is gonna be shut down moving in and out of these cities in the next two days. Like many of you, our lives have been completely flipped upside down by the coronavirus. And this is the start of our story. Hey, time to wake up. It's 4 a.m. We're heading to the airport. And this is not how I pictured our time on our private island ending. <laughs> We're leaving this island way too soon. <laughs> All right, we made it back to the mainland, and from here we head to the airport. <laughs> this is crazy. Thank you very Bye -bye. much. There are just hundreds of people standing outside of the airport. They haven't even opened the airport yet. I've been talking to a few people. A lot of people here don't even have tickets. They've just showed up at the airport hoping that they're gonna be able to get one. People slept here last night. Our flight leaves in an hour and... We just need to get right there. <laughs> we made it in the airport 30 minutes before our flight is supposed to depart, but it's not looking much better. It might happen. <laughs> we might get on this flight. Oh, what a start to the day. This is exciting stuff. <laughs> I've touched so many people. It's like the last place we should be right now. That's actually a really good point. See you on the plane. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Oh. We made it! Run! Go to Sanu! It is seriously a miracle. <laughs> We are bound for Bastan Cebu. We walked on the flight at 6.58. It leaves at 7. Nothing about that was guaranteed. And if we would have missed that flight, there's no way we would have made it back to Manila today. No. And then we, we would have been not. stuck. We were the very last people to get on this flight. There are empty seats, which means that other people didn't make it because this flight was 100% sold out. We're very grateful right now. Before we go any further, we wanted to say a big thank you to Surfshark for continuing to support creators during this challenging time. This is the second video of ours that Surfshark has sponsored since we started using their VPN to protect ourselves online. As we travel around the world, a lot of the time we have no choice but to connect to public Wi-Fi hotspots like in hotels, airport lounges, and coffee shops, and those places can be a gold mine for hackers. However, a VPN or virtual private network gives us an extra layer of security by encrypting everything that's sent between our computer and the internet. 
We are currently in self-quarantine, so we're not connecting to public Wi-Fi. However, we are using our VPN to binge watch one of our favorite shows on Netflix that isn't available in the US, but is available if you set your location to a different country. Even if you're not a traveler, a VPN can still come in super handy to protect your data. So if you don't have one already, we highly recommend using Surfshark because they are the only ones to offer unlimited devices. Plus you get 83% off and you get 30 days for free and there's a 30 day free trial so there's no risk to try it out. All you have to do to get started is use the link in the description below. We've made it to Cebu since things got so crazy this morning. I didn't have a chance to explain exactly what was going on, but essentially yesterday after we got the news, flights that were going for $200 were then going for $700. Even so, I tried to book the flight as quickly as I could and literally before I got to the checkout process, all of the flights were gone. The only way we were able to get a flight to Manila today was because a contact in the country pulled some strings for us and we are so grateful for that. So the fact that we are standing here in Cebu right now is a miracle. Now for a much needed break in the lounge and much needed coffee. Do you think it's too early for noodles? Or should we get eggs? It's only 8.50. I'm getting noodles. Okay. Okay, we are on the jet bridge, walking onto our flight to Manila. The reason this is such a big deal is because starting tomorrow, Manila will be on lockdown. No flights are going to and from the capital city. Which means if we wouldn't have gotten on this flight today, there's a chance we could have been stuck in the Philippines for 30 days. Now, I can think of worse places to be stuck than where we were last night, but still, we just didn't want to be trapped anywhere. For your safety, please take your assigned seats as soon as possible to facilitate our departure. And... Ladies and gentlemen, Philip and Alex welcome to you to Metro Manila. It has been a crazy 24 hours. I went from being sure we were going to be stranded on an island to being back in the city of Manila. Which, now that I'm saying it. <laughs> what were we thinking? We made it back to Manila, which means that we shouldn't have any problem getting out of the country. But our next flight's actually not until tomorrow morning. And with things changing as quickly as they are, we'll see what happens. All right, we have checked ourselves into a hotel and as long as nothing changes between now and 7.30 tomorrow morning, we'll be heading back to the airport to catch a flight to Singapore. We're almost there. I feel like we've made it, but I don't want to celebrate too soon. Yeah, I feel like the hardest part is over. <laughs> the hardest part like without a doubt. Yeah, the corner of this is just like... like wow. the, the way this morning started, I thought like all of today was going to be chaos, but ever since we made it out of Corona this morning, it's seemed pretty much like a normal travel day. Minus the flight attendants handing out masks. Mm -hmm. So, as far as we know, nothing has changed since last night, so we are about to head back to the airport to hopefully catch a flight out of the country. Pretty crazy, the domestic airport has about 20 police officers stationed in front of it to make sure no one's getting in. Thankfully, Singapore's not on there. The 
the airport's not quite as chaotic as yesterday, but there are just as many people. We were just standing in a line that I think was a social experiment that led to nowhere, but there were about 50 people lined up. We still have two hours before our flight leaves, so we should be good. This would be the day to have status. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're flying Sky Team, which is the only alliance where we don't have status. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> we were literally standing in a line that the end of it was blocked off. Nobody was going leading anywhere. to nowhere. And everyone was just standing there. I feel bad we should go back and like tell the people that were behind us in line. Yeah. Every man for himself. Alright, we've been waiting for about 30 minutes, but I think we're gonna make it. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank so you. much. Made it! All right, we have one hour until our flight takes off, so hopefully the security line doesn't look like the check-in line. We're literally walking up as we're boarding. Not because we were in the lounge, but because we just got through security and close one. All right, three and a half hours to Singapore. I think that actually does a lot more than wearing a mask. Okay, my home for the next three hours is sanitized. Please refer to the information guide in the Bumblehart magazine or call our cabin attendant for a seat. Thank you. All right, we have made it to Singapore, but honestly, we aren't sure if this is our final destination. The adventure continues. So right now we're in a pretty interesting situation because all of our plans for the rest of the year have been canceled. So there's no point in going back to the US like we had originally intended. With the current state of the coronavirus, it seems like the best thing for everyone to do right now is to stay put in their homes. The problem is we don't have one and we haven't for the last four years. We could easily go home and stay at our parents' houses, but we've thought a ton about this, and we've come to the conclusion that we would feel very inconsiderate doing that, since we're the ones who have been traveling around, exposed to thousands of people, and who knows what else, and we just decided it was best for everyone if we stayed put in Singapore for a while. So we chose Singapore for a few reasons, the first one being there was an available flight from Manila. Also, from the research that we've done, Singapore has done a really good job at managing and containing the virus, so we felt like this was a really safe place for us to make our home base. Like, just to stay at this hotel, we have to fill out a health declaration form. It's a 16.9 and have our temperature taken. I feel like this is huge for Singapore. Yeah. So the last reason that we chose Singapore is because we know that we can take a standby flight back to the U.S. at any time if we have to or if we need to for whatever reason. With that said, we don't know how long we're going to be here. We're kind of taking it day by day right now and doing the best to make the right decisions with the information that we have. This video probably won't be edited and uploaded until a month later and at that point I'm sure the world will be a totally different place and either this will be an overreaction or... Who knows? Hindsight is is 2020, so it's gonna be really obvious what the right decision was to make in the future. But for now, we're making the best decision that we can. So this is home for one night. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of pressure to book. Yeah. We didn't want to book. Yeah. Wrong way. Hi! 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 <laughs> Why is this 
flight almost hit me. I thought everybody was going to the Nala. How are you supposed to talk wearing one of these face masks without uh, that happening? Singapore has done a really good job at managing and containing the virus. <laughs> we have the walk man. Come on. I like watching it without the noise. <laughs>